So what do we have today? We have Davy. We, we're gonna have uh, Davy Audrey uh, coming in with a, a fun deck for us, and Casey Biddle. And uh, we'll get started here very shortly. Alright, so yeah, it is Davy Audrey on American Heroes, which is a, it's a jank brew, just quote unquote. <laughs> and Casey Bebel on Demir Fla Favorable Winds, is what I'm being told, which I'm excited for. I don't know what that actually is. Favorable winds is the enchantment. All creatures with flying get plus one, plus one. I mean, I know what favorable wind... Okay, you know what? You're right. <laughs> when you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Chat, let us know if uh, audio is still coming in good. We just want to double check, make sure we're serving you up a good thing. Yep. And just as a reminder, uh, this is Moonbase Market here in Seward, heart of St. Louis. For all of your gaming series. needs via fighting video games and oh, yeah. Magic the Gathering. I was just playing some Tekken 7. It was great. <laughs> all right. We're playing. KC, does he have the favorable ones? No, we'll just nope. start with Kite the Kite Freebooter. It feels like this is one of those decks that if he doesn't have a creature, he loses the game, right? He just put his hand face up. I don't think you can see as a hostage taker if he's paying attention. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Maybe he's just letting them know. I oh, think, I oh think he realizes it now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it takes a... Legion's landing? It now. No, it takes one of the the flip lands. Legion's it might, landing. It might have been Legion's landing, yeah. Cartouche of Solidarity. Carry Zev. Gonna get in there. Do some damage. Astrochemist, thanks for letting me know. I'll see what I can do. Casey going in for combat. Swings for one in the air. Davy down to 19. Past the turn. Davy casting the uh, new one mana aura that uh, lets you draw a card every time the creature deals combat damage, but you have to attack every turn with it or else you lose that aura. It doesn't have to be that creature, though. I don't it think just it has does. To be, no, I lost to it in draft really? the other day. It just has to be a creature you control as attacking. Well, that seems really efficient. It is very efficient. <laughs> Somebody just threw it on like a 1 4. Mm -hmm. and attacked with their flyer because they couldn't get in with the flyer at the time. And I was like, well, gotcha. this is really bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got crushed that game. 
And now Davey plays the Adorn Pouncer, the 1-1 one, one Double Striker. God, <laughs> what is happening here? I, I talked to Davey earlier. Uh -huh. His, if you count lands, his average CMC for the deck is about 1. <laughs> if you don't count lands, it's like 1.7. Okay. <laughs> it's it's the m most ridiculous mana curve I've seen in a long time. It sounds... Sounds eggs like, honestly. <laughs> you know, like, like playing modern eggs. See, now this is great. Let's put, put that aura back on the double striker so it'll hit twice and draw two cards. That's oh, a 2 2 as well. Oh, well, it's a 1 1. No, it gets plus 1 plus 1 as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. And he instead bounces it. Brutal. The blood just <laughs> slams <laughs> that the door and bounces. <laughs> So ridiculous. Casey's just really struggling on lands though right now. It's yes, it's not he's got a lot of removal and interaction mm -hmm. though. So his interaction has kept him in this from Davy just completely taking over. Man, he is really. Oh, I guess he needed raid trigger. That is mm -hmm. the flyer that gets plus one the plus one counter plus one. attack. Mm -hmm. Stormfleet aerialist, I believe. I'll take your word for it. Combat for three with that monkey. Four with the uh, plus one, plus one, and first strike. Yep, that's true. <laughs> and, and another adorned cat. pouncer. <laughs> I don't really know what's American about Carrie Zev and a bunch of cats, but... Uh, I think uh, I think it's the colors. And another adorned hmm. Red, white, and blue. I think uh, nothing thematically about the creatures themselves are very American. Hmm. You could just One second, simply everybody, call it just, just making guy. it quick. <laughs> quick adjustments. <laughs> uh, Davey's going to be so mad at you. I don't care. <laughs> short shorts can be mad at me. Yeah, Davey with his traditional short shorts. You might be wondering, man, why is his pants blue, red, and yellow? That's not yellow. That's his that's, pale, that's his pale, pale, scale skin. legs. <laughs> Snags another thing. Gets in there. Swinging for four, six, eight. Monkey. Block the monkey. First strike. Two no, I don't four know why he menace. would want to actually block one of the Adorn Pouncers. They're one one it's a one double two. strike, so it's it's essentially he gives a them back two one. Landing. But this is a this is a two three. He could actually just kill one of the pouncers unless he's that scared of killing a pouncer and it coming back as a four four. Yeah. But Davies will still off on the lands to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't get Casey's like outs here. I'm trying to figure out what like he could play to get out from under the pressure he's getting. I guess you give. Well, Davey we do know he has that hostage taker. <laughs> yeah, sounds on the land for it. Is that a siren, siren storm one? tamer? One, it's a flying man with flying one one. Uh, pay blue and sack it. Counter target spell or ability that targets a creature of yours. Creature or player, or just creature? I think it's just creature. Davy, turn him sideways. I mean, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Like, his deck is land beats. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know why Casey would have attacked with the Kite Self Rebooter on that one. Did he? I didn't mean, need the Ray Trigger there. If I mean, is that an Adanto's Vanguard? I believe the 1-1 one one that can swing and become a 3-1. It's a 3-1. And, and it becomes indestructible. It indestructible. Mm -hmm. Good magic card. Strong. Well, we are in hostage taker territory now as Casey finds his fourth land here. I mean, you just take carry Zev. Yep. I think you have to. Davy pull this off. He's got him done at two. Does he run shocks and burn spells? 
He doesn't, actually. Yeah, Davy is running zero. No shocks, no lightning strikes. He can't direct damage his way out of this. Is that Neketra? He's just so far But the ahead. cartouche on the Adorn Pouncer, 2-2 two, two first striker, or two, two. double striker. 2-2 two, two double striking. He has first strike and double strike right now, yeah. actually. He has super strike. Do you remember when that was uh, spoiled? It was the first Eternalized card, and someone yeah. asked what the card did? Yeah. And Naveen was like, oh, it attacks the first strike combat phase and the regular combat. <laughs> Naveen is, I think, the greatest troll on our in, our <laughs> in, community. in the group. <laughs> That showed up on Reddit. Yeah, it did. You yeah. know who posted that? On was Reddit? it you? No, that was Madison. This is Madison. It was yeah. either you or Madison. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty great. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, double Strike. It's a pretty well-known ability. <laughs> <laughs> Blocks with the Kite Sail Freebooter. Davey has back his Legion's Landing. Plays it. Now has another Vampire. Oh, wow. Take that, Adanto. Uh, that's pretty good draw. Yeah, seems good. Turns out taking and then later on playing your other player's cards. Why would he attack? I don't know, because if Davy top attacks anything, like, uh, like an enchantment. aura. He's basically dead. Yeah. But I Davey disagree with passes. not attacking there. That puts Davy to a... That puts Casey to a virtual one. He just mm -hmm. has, to, has to get up on creatures. Unless he's trying to flip Legion's Landing eventually. But now I... Cast like, carry uh, Zev. And I would just cast the Adonto's Yeah, I would just... Too. I would... These attacks are just so aggressive. He passes without playing Adonto's Vanguard or anything. Which would tell me he, he has... Turn wise, we've got the 4-4 four four cat now. Fatal push, snag, S unsummon, unsummon. It is also known as vapor snag. Yeah, it's the same thing, except no one loses life, so it's not the same thing. Snap. Casey is hanging on by the skin of his he's teeth. He's made such aggressive attacks, but he's stabilized. Yeah. That's lethal. That is lethal. Mm -hmm. Davy, very kindly giving Casey the monkey token. Yep. I wouldn't have given the. Nah. Like, sorry, you he don't have the monkey token. It. I don't really care no. where it's coming from. That's my Ragavan. Yeah, this is my Ragavan. <laughs> <laughs> Block, Block the monkey. Has to. Gain one, take five. So net falls four. And Done. Davy needs a miracle now at this point. Fumigate off the top. No, that would that would do it. Cartouche. Flying. We have flying. We have plus one plus one and we have flying. counter spell. Oh the new counter spell from ri rivals that uh raid you can raid trigger to make it one, one mana. mana. Oh, and then we have another one. We had a backup. But this one isn't flying. And we're uh, and we're that will just be the scoop phase. <laughs> just Man, that was Casey made some really aggressive attacks there, mm -hmm. but it worked out for him. And unfortunately, we don't he have Casey's deck list, so I don't know what we can look at in terms of his sideboard because we just simply don't have it. Um, but in terms of Davy's sideboard, he has three Hazaret, the fervent. A baffling end that actually could come in. Exile, target creature with converted mana cost three or less. Yeah, and then if they somehow remove it, you yeah, get a they get a three three, three dinosaur with trample. But uh, <laughs> considering that hits it almost all of KC's creatures except for the hostage taker, mm -hmm. that might be worth doing. Um, Kirk of Condemnation does nothing here. 
Dire Fleet Daredevil. Which one's that? Red Snapcaster. Oh, yep. The 2 1 for striker that yep. when it enters the battlefield, you can take an opponent's spell from their graveyard, mm -hmm. cast it. I don't know if that gets him anything here either. It's I mean, he could maybe snap back an unsummon because it looked like Casey fatal was push. running those as well. Yeah, Fatal Push too. I don't think it's worth it. I don't I don't either. Field of Ruin, probably no. Sent Sentinel Totem, no. Saving Grace, no. Nope. So cool. I think it's so really Hazard just baffling in and maybe it has red if you want to go big. I don't know how I feel about the Soketra main board. I'm looking at it. Yeah. It's a very we'll awkward. I'll have to thing. ask him about that. He's <laughs> running one Oketra in the main. And he I mean he has enough creatures that he can go wide and, and get there, but I I don't know unless it's just a mana sink late. It's a three six double strike. If if that's his mana sink for a late game that I will just start making 1-1s. One yeah. Have you ever played against those gods in Limited? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing feels worse. <laughs> except for Kefnet. You can play against a Kefnet and be like, this is fine. Actually, yeah. sorry. Hazaret, Oketra, and Ronas feel horrific to play against. Ronas is shocking how that's completely fallen away. Yeah, that card was great. I still think it's a good card. Just and look, I read it. It's I strong. I don't, I don't know what can be done about it, but I still think it's a great card, but it's just completely fallen out of favor for for gods like Hazaret and the Scarab God. Yeah. Um, One of my buddies during Hour of Devastation at Maplewood pre-release mm -hmm. opened his sealed pool, and he had a pre-release Locust God, Seems opened good. his first pack, got a Scarab God. Seems good. <laughs> Needless to say, he played Grixis played Grixis unbeatable stuff. <laughs> yeah. And he, he uh, Grixis, you can't kill any of my stuff. Yeah. He he won a different way, it seemed like every game. He oh had I'm two sure. Inferno jets. He just burned people out sometimes. <laughs> he played a lot of like the hieroglyphic illuminations. So like there was one game where he was like Locust God, yeah. cycle three cards, hieroglyphic illumination. Make a whole bunch of bugs. Like make seven bugs, swing in with the team. <laughs> that sounds gross. Yeah. His opponents were displeased. It's pretty great. Yeah. Those gods were led to some pretty ridiculous one-sided games, much like the Elder Dinosaurs right now in Sealed. Oh, God, they're so good. Uh, I think the only one that I'm, like, not actually terrified of seeing... The white one? No, that one's actually super annoying. It's almost impossible. The, gr the red one. The red one is a 6-6 six, six that you have one oh, turn... Oh, I think the red one's great. It is, but it's a 6-6 six, six that you have one turn to kill it. Like, it's technically you a... You have that with the white one, too. But it's indestructible. There's really no way to kill it. Yeah, that's true. But even still, it costs, what, seven? Eight. Or eight? Mm hmm So expensive. Eight mana, four, eight, double strike, vigilance, indestructible, flying. Keyword, supersaurus. Yeah, flat, flat. <laughs> uh, I, I think, in l in terms of limited, I think the black one's the best. I don't, I don't even think Black one is one of the strongest. I don't even think it's close. It's better than the Titans. I know that sounds weird. Like the Titans as in? Grave, Sun, oh, that, that Frost, Titan. Primeval. I know that sounds weird, uh, but in limited. It might be. C because it's a one-sided Wrath Yeah. that you can't play around. No, you can't. You can't do like anything about it. If your opponent shows it on turn one after you play a one drop, you still have to keep playing creatures because if they ever... At that point, it's you have to try to wraith them. Yeah. Like, you have to try to kill them before they can oh, drop Oh, wow, it. that's a... Tiolani's Crest, the 3 0 and Trample. And we have reading. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, what is this card? So currently we're looking at a 4 1 uh, that can turn indestructible very easily. A 4 1 that when it attacks is actually a 6 1 that can be indestructible. Yeah, seems good. Trample. S seem yeah, yeah, seems good. Uh, I think he'll swing with that. Yeah, I think, I think this is what we call racing. Very one sided race. And Casey's just going to take it all. I mean,. Davey's going to gain one. Unless he has Vapor Snag, I don't see what he There's can do no about that. There's no sense in him blocking. I mean, he could block and chump the Vampire if he just wants to get something off the board, but that that's not the problem. He needs Unsummon, and he needs it now. Mm -hmm. Or Fatal Push. But even that doesn't help because he can just make it indestructible. Moment of Craving would do yep. it. Yep. I actually love that card. I do too. It's really good. I've been playing that on. If someone passes arena, you that, pick it. Yeah, if I've been playing it on MTG Arena. It's in my constructed black white vampire stack, and it's great. Yeah, that seems good. 
Yeah, but going back to Tetzelmach. Tetzelmach, primal. Tetzel primal hunger. Hunger. No, Galt was the green one's primal hunger. Primal, primal death. Death. So let's just say it's turn three, and I have two creatures out, and my opponent reveals Tetzelmach, and plays a two drop. Yep. I can't stop playing creatures no. because I'll get behind on board, and then. And that I don't even necessarily have to drop Tetsumok at that point. Yeah, exactly. I can't... I have to keep playing creatures, but I have to keep playing creatures in such an aggressive fashion that I have to end the game before six mana gets hit. Yep. But the thing is, the opportunity cost of Tetsumok is one mana per creature. It's yep. super low. Yep. That's so low. Sure, eventually you do have to pay six. Yep. And unless you run it into a, a counter spell, like that obviously changes everything. Sure. But like, if you're playing up against a green, green-white list... They don't yeah. have anything. No, they They're don't. They can't stop it. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah, it's just like, oh god, this is going to happen. And in late game, let's just say you both have, let's just say you have nine mana. Okay? Because yep. you've drawn a lot of lands since in the late game. And then you peel a Tetzelmach off the top, and you're like, cool. Three mana. One, two, three. Your best three your creatures. Best three creatures. Play, play it again. Done. You're done. And, and now there's a six, six death toucher six on the battlefield. Six, six death touch, and you have like a two, two left. Yeah. Whoopee. Sure, I still have a board. Like, no, I'm legitimately serious when I say that is one of the best limited cards I have ever seen. Yeah, it it it's and I so I played only one sealed event for the pre-release. Um, my pool wasn't great. Like, a, a decent cards in all colors, but no, not enough great cards to make like a solid deck. So I just kind of went aggro. I went Boros. Mm -hmm. I went three one. My one loss was to an Esper deck. God, look at this beatdown, by the way, Davies. Equipped another random enchantment there. That's the plus one plus one in lifelink. Sure. <laughs> and make a vampire. Is that Squire's devotion? Yeah. yeah. Another good sealed card. Yep. Play that card in limited, guys. Davy playing pauper on the big screen. Davy is basic. Sedanto Vanguard and this Legion's Landing, and of course the mana base. Yep. But none of these cards. Uh, and this is just going so fast now, and he's gaining so much life. And the game is basically over. But um. But yeah, uh, I I played and I went three and one. My one loss was to an Esper controlish deck that had the Immortal Sun in his pool. He had Azor the Lawbringer in his pool, mm. and he had Tetsumok Primal Death in his pool, mm. and he had one more big bomb that I I can't even remember. Oh, he had the the black white enchantment that lets you just exile creatures, and then you can flip it to replay those creatures on your side. Wow. He had all dream. four of those in his pool, and it was insane. But he he beat me both times strictly off of Tetsumok. Yeah, no, I I legitimately think it's one of the more broken magic cards, like in limited, like yeah. I've ever seen. Just like yeah, the sc the gods, the new gods like Locust God, Scarab God. Uh, yeah, the ones that come back from the graveyard. Yeah, those are really, really, really strong yeah. limited cards. They don't die. Yeah. But you can still go around them. Yeah, you can still get around them. You still have chances. Yeah. When Tetzelmach comes down, you're like, oh, okay. Sure, even if you Ravenous Chupacabra it or whatever it is. Sure. You've like probably lost your entire board. Yeah, your board's gone. You have a 2-2. Two -two. Well, we've had some turnaround here. Yeah. Another Legion's Landing. I think he missed a chance to flip that Legion's Landing previously. Uh, I think he did, yeah. Because he attacked with the two life-linking vampires and... Uh, yep, three creatures And the Adanto's Vanguard, so he could have flipped it. Maybe he just likes the art of Legion Landing and not <laughs> the other side of it. It's very possible. Well, Fatal Push, Vapor Stack. Active craving. I don't know. Kill spell. Make another Legion's Landing, get the vampire back. Yeah, at this point, he really wishes he had flipped that because. Just a way to constantly apply pressure. Mm -hmm. Play beats. Is that a five a turn or four a turn? We have Sacred a cat. cat. Uh, that's four a turn. One, two, yeah. two, three, one, one. 
Sorry, I thought the crest was on the kite sail freebooter, and my math was getting all mm. the Tiolani's crest to yep. the three. I was like, wait a minute, Casey's not playing that. No, <laughs> he just has it. Yep, he just stole it. You know, if you played a Eldrazi processor right now, you would call that a combo. <laughs> we would also disqualify him for playing illegal cards. Yes, but combo nonetheless. Yep. Is that a metallic mimic? I guess naming pirates? Pirate has to be pirate. I've not seen a non pirate. Yep. Metallic mimic is, I would say, the most adequate lord. You know, like, sure, it's great. Not yep. like great. It's like, okay, it works. It's a two drop. Doesn't really care what colors it needs. Easy yep. to cast. Two one. Not an embarrassing by itself. Well, it's it's and it's counters as well. They stick around. Which is nice. Yeah. Which is great. M most lords don't do that. So. It's not exciting. It's just fine. You know. Mm -hmm. What's it cost to eternalize the cat? Is it six? Six. No discard. I mean, six for a four mana double striker. Mm-hmm. No, I'm talking that cat. Oh, that's oh, just the one. That's a one mana. For it a comes one back one. as a one one. One one life linker. Yeah, that's embalm, not eternalized. My yeah. bad. I was misthinking. Now, life link is when a creature deals damage. Yeah. Uh, it will gain that much life. Yes. If you are confused and. Yeah. But <laughs> thanks, Naveen. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Naveen's not on chat right now, so uh, I'm just helping him. Yeah. Helping where you can. Yeah. See, I almost would have been. Would it have been worth it to swing all out? To with that Legion's Landing. Instead yeah. he chooses to swing two. Yep, I 100% agree with this. Agree with what I said? Yes. Yeah. Because I don't I don't know what else Davy is holding out for at this point. Unless he's got just a trick that's unfathomable to what we're seeing. Because Davy has to go just wide now at this point. Yeah. Or Tiolani's Crest. Tiolani's yep. Crest will get him around that too. I cannot actually see that card. Through that the is the, the siren. ship that gives pirates plus one plus oh. And can be crewed for three, and it's a three three. Something and when it attacks, ship. it gets a plus one plus one counter. Something like I hidden car away. I that too. But just naturally, it gives pirates plus one plus oh. Static. Yeah, static. Okay. Cool. So now we're swinging now we're five. Swinging. Yeah. All right, All well, right, Davey. Davey needs uh, Davy needs a hero. He does. Land for turn. Flying. Flying life linker two two. That's a good number combination. But we're gonna see a snag fatal push. And bombs. And just imagine. He'd have two extra vampires. Yep. And he's looking at it too. He knows he could have flipped it. Yeah. He could have flipped vampires. it earlier when he actually did attack with three and just forgot the trigger. Yep. And then he had an opportunity to do it again two turns ago. Yep. And he just didn't attack with the didn't. one one life linker vampire. Which made a little more sense based on the board because yeah. it holds back the metallic mimic. Yep. But even still. It's worth it to attack into it because if he really wants to trade that metallic mimic, he Davey's should've. happy to do so. And he can just, if he does swing with the metallic mimic in, in response, because after that Legion's Landing flips, he could just make another 1 1 vampire mm -hmm. and block. Oh my There's god, no another downside. unsummon. And Davy's had enough, he's out. Yep. Well, Casey gets there in two, beating American heroes, Jeskai heroes. And we didn't even see a favorable win. Jeskai Boggles. I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Is there favorable wins? I yeah, it uh, was printed in Amonkhet. Yeah, but like, is there one in his deck? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him uh, between matches. He had like two or three in his hand. Oh my god, <laughs> absurd! I saw the new Rivals of Ixalan pirate in his list. The uh, two-one flyer. I like that one. The one that makes him a toad. Makes it a, is it a zero toad one. zero one. Yeah, that seems strong. It gets that rid of really all good. trinket text as yeah. well. Excuse me, gross. That I think that should be main boarded in a lot of decks. 
I think yeah. that's very doable. They lose indestructible. They lose any reminder I mean, text. Like it kills screw gods. Over a god, yeah. Because I guarantee you, some people are just not going to account for that, mm -hmm. and they'll get caught in it. It'd be very sad. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was round three. We're cruising along now that we've got our uh, audio situation yep. figured out. Things are moving faster, churning along. I hope everyone in chat is enjoying it. If you have any questions or anything about anything, let us know. Pretty soon, I'm going to start ranting about Popper. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. So I'm hope sure we'll do that next that. round. This is just a reminder. This is Moonbase Market here in St. Louis, Missouri, Sular. Mm -hmm. This is the Gateway Series, hosted by Heath Lynch, and commentated with Alex Worth. And we're going to take a few minute break, let the rounds settle out before we get up again. And we'll just be back. Just to let you all know, we do events here every day. We have a pretty big popper tournament coming up on Saturday. Next Saturday. Yep. That, a uh, 0.5K. 0.5K. Winners basically gets a tropical island, which is awesome. Yeah, which is great. I will be there playing. I hope uh, to be there playing. I hope you are. I got. I built Solte Land Destruction. Nice. If you want to play a real deck, limit. No, <laughs> no, I want to play, play Salt Island Land Destruction. You're going to go up against like a blue deck, and you're going to be real sad. But besides that, you're going to be like, there's going to be some like dirtily mid range list. And you're like, sad. guess what? <laughs> if, if I play anyone that's go playing blue black control and they're playing Demir Aqueducts, I'll be a very happy camper. Yeah. Any bounce land. Yeah. You, you might want to just keep a bounce land like count. I can keep a tally throughout yeah, the day. Yeah. Just like, here's how many lands I destroyed. Here's how many bounce lands I destroyed. Yes. Yeah. Because. There is nothing. You're gonna like go coiling oracle, hit a land, and then be like, oh okay, that's weird. Because unless you play Popper, you don't know about this list. No. You're gonna go like coiling Even oracle. Even the people that play Popper, it's not the most popular list. Yeah. Like it's, it I'll, showed I'll up do coiling oracle turn, turn two, get that extra land. Yeah. And then next turn, I'll just be like, all right, go. Cool. Uh, Mog Mongolia acid moss. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll be like, what? I'll be like, what? what? I'll be like, oh yeah, no, this is this is the point where you never get to keep lands. In yeah, the you have one land for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice day. Yeah. How are those bounce lands feeling? Yeah, I hope I hope you're having fun. Yeah, my Boros list does not want to go up against that. I play no. a lot of bounce lands. No, but uh, yeah, no. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be cool. I am too. 